Each week, Wells Fargo Bank brings us stories of athletes who have overcome adversity in their lives to succeed in school and in sports. There is no question the San Leandro football team is a family. 48 brothers with head coach Brad Bowers, an imposing father figure. It's the perfect situation for the faux two brothers, Joe and Anthony, whose own family was rocked by tragedy and whose love for football helped bring back the joy into their lives. At the start of every San Leandro football game this year, you will hear senior Joe Fotu firing up the Pirates before they take the field. The Fotus bring a lot of a lot of passion, a lot of energy. When they're both on the field together, it's exciting. It's exciting to watch. There's a lot of energy going back and forth between the two, competing against each other, pushing each other to do a little bit more, and that, that excites the entire team. Joe and Anthony Fotu are a major force for the San Leandro football team, not only with their big hits, but also with their desire. I see them at home all the time, but usually we like don't compete for stuff. But when we're on the field, I'm always competing against him. And he's trying to take my spot. Does he always win the fights? Not always. Sometimes. <laughs> of course I would win. You guys look about the same. Yeah. <laughs> I'm heavier though. Yeah. My two pounds. The Fotu brothers truly treasure the value of family, especially after the traumatic loss of their little sister Emma when she was just three years old. Uh, my mom and my dad, they were going, because my dad was a DJ, and uh, it was his nephew's graduation party. My little sister went off looking around. She went up to the third floor, and she, um, she didn't know how to get back down, so she stepped over the balcony and she fell off the third floor. You know, when she fell, it was my whole body, my mind was freezing. I wanted to die that day with my daughter. You know, I just wanted to, you know, give up life. But I was thinking of the rest of the kids. Their father, Leaky Leaky Fotu, already dealing with high blood pressure and diabetes, was taking the death of his daughter the hardest. Two months after Emma passed away, Mr. Fotu suffered a stroke. And on the next day, he passed away. It traumatized the family. You know, because the, the children were standing there crying when they, you know, when the paramedics came and carried his body out. Heartbroken, the Fotu family struggled to stick together and get through the storm. I didn't know where to turn to. I didn't play sports at the time. And my seventh grade year, that's when I turned to sports. My counselor actually asked me to play sports so I could really, like, release all my anger out. I thought I was going to stop going to school, even though I was younger, because I seen my mom, she was crying every night and she had nobody to be with her. I try everything I can to get, you know, drop them off to school, pick them up, bring them home. Because of their pain and anger, I don't want them to get in um, touch and involved with the wrong kind of people. The Fotu brothers bring more than just a passion for competition. They also bring a love for their football family. My favorite thing about playing for the Pirates is being with my, my family, my brothers. I love my brothers. It's difficult to, to replace dad, really, but we've kind of rallied around them to, to try and make sure that they're getting the best, best, best advice and best opportunities available. Having so much love and support, Joe and Anthony are grateful for their mother and their football father, helping them build a solid foundation in their lives. Man, my mom, she's everything. I love her. She give my brother and I everything what we want. Brad Bowers, our coach, our head coach, He's, he's like a father figure to me at school. Taught us a lot of life lessons, not just football. He taught us how to, how to live life, how to be a young man. The San Leandro football team is a family. And for Joe and Anthony Fotu, their football family goes beyond the field. With that kind of support, there is nothing in life these two young men can't handle. Joe and Anthony both have goals to play football at the next level. Coach Bowers and their mother are making sure they stay on top of their grades, so that is a possible goal to achieve for both of them. Yeah, really great guys, wonderful guys to talk to. And you had dinner over their house uh, this I week? I did. They would not let me and Joey leave without sitting down and having a meal with them. Yeah. It was amazing. Good food? Really good. Yeah, sorry I missed that. <laughs> All right, let's